Hey, what's up? It's your girl Jasmine with the G, and I am back at it again. <laughs> so, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell and the notification bell so that you can be notified that your girl posted a video. Um, and yeah, so oh, first I want to tell you guys if you hear something outside, it's because it's my neighbors and they're talking, and I can't control, you know, when people talk or not. So, yeah, let's get into this video. What today's video is going to be about is when my boss hit me yes okay so let's get into it and i'm not i'm not even gonna like give like super wild details unless you guys want that i can do that in like another video or whatever but first i'm just i'm gonna just skip right to the point where i wanted to talk to her before we got into this meeting that we had and first before we before i even start telling you guys about this story right my boss she was well, my ex boss. She was like, she was before we. Well, wait. You guys already know how my personality is, right? I'm always laughing. I'm always smiling. I'm always just, you know, cheesing, hella big. So, right when I looked at my schedule, one time I just looked at my schedule. Like, like I said, I'm not gonna give like too much details or whatever. One time I looked at my schedule, and it only showed. I think it's it showed two days two days out of the week and it wasn't back to back it was like two separate complete far days out of the week so like it was like a monday and like a thursday or something and i was just like i looked at my schedule and i was like eh, what like and okay i was like well, you know what i'm gonna talk to her at work i'm gonna just see what's up like what happened why is my schedule cut down to two days a week like come on how can you survive off of two days a week and my baby, I think my baby was like one years old at this point. My baby was one. And I only had two days a week. I was like, yeah, skirt. Uh, I'm about to go talk to her. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Uh, before, I did, before I was going to do this video, I was like, I was debating if I wanted to do this video. And I was like, because I was thinking about other people's feelings. You know what I'm saying? And that's another thing that I be talking about. Like, stop always worrying about other people's feelings because you can't live your life like that. You can't be think about other people's feelings because this eh, I'm stuttering. <laughs> I'm always stuttering too. Okay, but you can't live your life like trying to please everybody. Like, no, because then you're never gonna be happy or whatever. And I'm and I was thinking about other people's feelings because my boss that I used to work with, her daughter, um, she was working there as well, and I had some co-workers. Like, we, I was really cool with her daughter and my co-workers and stuff. So this story is kind of crazy. That's why I was, like, kind of debating if I wanted to tell this story. But I'm like, you know what? It happened to me, and that shit made me feel some type of way. And mm, I'm going to tell my story, okay? And I'm going to tell the truth. So, um, yes, this shit was crazy. Okay, so I see my schedule, and I was, like, two days a week. Like, and I'm a mom. Like, don't play with me. So I went in. And up to her and I was like, you know what? Like I didn't say you know what. <laughs> I was like, um, you know, can we talk? Because I see my schedule. It's only two days. And I just want to, you know, ask why. And she said, Okay, we can talk once it starts dying down in the restaurant that I was working at. And mind you, I used to work by the airport, so it was busy all the time. So yeah. So we had to wait till it died down. I'm in there slaving. <laughs> and I'm like I'm just thinking in my head, like, two days a week? Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> are you kidding me? And mind you guys, I think that two days a week was only, like, three hours a day. What am I going to do with six hours a week? Like, what? <laughs> anyway, so, I'm in there working, and then she finally called me into the office. So, it was her, and it was another boss of mine that we, we went inside of the office, right? So, it was, it was two of them, and it was just me. So, I'm just like... I wait no 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 my bad I wasn't working that night I was not working that night I think I think we rescheduled yeah because I couldn't get to work that day the day that we had the meeting I actually pulled up like I just pulled up and I told her like can we talk and then yeah yeah we, I pulled up and I told her can we talk and we went to the back and I was in my regular clothes oh yeah I had a hoodie on because look it I was already talking to my family and stuff, and I was just like, I didn't like how she treated me. Like, I just didn't like how she treated me. I feel like she she used to, like, try to ignore me. Like, when I talked to her, she would, like, I feel like she would deliberately ignore me. Mind you, I'm, like, the sweetest person. I'm so respectful. And it's, like, 
I don't understand why she was giving me this energy that she was giving me. Like, so when I would try to talk to her, I feel like she would be ignoring me. And then she'll like, like, of course, like she eventually had to answer me because it's like, of course, I'm standing right there. Like, <laughs> you're going to have to talk to me. So she would eventually like, you know, give me the attention that I need in the moment when I'm trying to get her attention. But yeah, she'll be ignoring me and stuff. And I feel like she'll be having me do like the most outrageous shit at work. What, like I said, if I'm working, like I'm gonna work and I'm gonna do what I have to do at work. Like that's what I do. I come to work to work. So I'm not gonna complain, but I just feel like, damn, like bitch, <laughs> shit. Like, so, but I do my shit. I do my work. But anyways, at this moment, I looked at my schedule. It was only two days a week. And I just wasn't feeling that. I pulled up, and then both of us, <clears throat> all three of us, went inside of the office, right, and. <laughs> all three of us went in the office and we were sitting there I mean I was standing up and the, uh, my, the my, mind you my boss the one who I'm talking about that hit me she hired me like, like what <laughs> you hired me like she hired me but she used to work at another restaurant like and it wasn't even in the same city or whatever so she used to work at another restaurant so she, I would never see her. She just hired me. And then they switched her to my restaurant. And she had to work there permanently. permanently. But once we started working together, she just started to be mean to me. Like, I don't, I don't know, whatever. Like, so I'm getting all trying to figure out where I was at. Um, oh, yeah, we was in the office. And then my other boss was in there. She was sitting down. And she, the boss that hit me, she was standing up. And I was standing by the door, right? My back was facing against the door. And then she was telling me, like, basically, mind you, like I said, I'm always smiling. I'm always cheesing. I'm just always smiling, like, period. So it's like, I'm not, this is what she said. She was just like, um, basically, I don't feel like you're, no, no, bro. <laughs> bro, this is what she told me. This is what she told me. She was like, you're, this is what this lady told me. She said, you're the worst worker we have. <laughs> the worst worker. I don't smile at the customers. She said, I think she even compared me to, to workers, to a worker in there. I don't even remember the name or whatever. She was just like, yeah, see this person's here and you're here. <laughs> I was like, what? Oh, and I stood there and ate that shit, too. Like, you know how hard it is? See, these people at these jobs, they be trying to talk to people crazy just because they up in a higher role, in the, I mean, up in a higher position, they feel like they can talk to you crazy. And that, and I feel like that, when stuff like that happen, I feel like your karma gonna come back, baby. Your karma gonna bite your ass because you don't treat people wrong. You don't treat people wrong for no reason. But that's what she told me. She was like, you're the worst worker I have. When, when people come in, you don't smile. You stand there and you go, hi, welcome. Bro. <laughs> I said, what? That's not even my personality. Like, I, hi, welcome. No, instantly when someone come in, I'm like, hi, welcome. And I'm like, how many? Like, how, like, how many? Blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm talking. I'm speaking. I'm hella friendly. And, you know, and let me tell you, like I said, we worked by an airport, right? People used to want to take pictures of me. Because this is a point where I had my sides shaved off and I had my dreads on top, my long dreads on top. People used to want to take, foreigners used to want to take pictures of me because I looked so exotic. They used to tell me I was beautiful. They wanted to, me to treat their table. People who used to come, regular people used to want, used to ask for me when they came. You get me? So how am I? the worst worker and you guys you see them taking pictures with me like you know like we we're having a good time we're smiling we're laughing and for for her to say that and she compared and then she said i'm the worst worker she said i'm the worst worker she was like she's here and you're here you're the worst one and I'm like, wow, I go in the bathrooms, I clean them, them nasty bath. Like, y'all don't understand. See, that's why, that's how I know God gonna bless me. He already has blessed me. I said he gonna bless me, but he didn't bless me from the point where I was at, back then. 
But I'm saying, like, he gonna continue to bless me because I'm humble. I treat people, I treat people how I want to be treated. Like, I'm not gonna say I ain't no hothead at times, but I just don't go around just treating people bad just because. But anyway, so this is what she told me. So you, you, the, the customers come in and you be like, hi, welcome. <laughs> I was just standing there like, okay. And then she's, she's talking and she was like, yeah. And you don't, you don't move fast. Another lie. <laughs> you don't move fast. You, you, um, she just basically diminished my shit. <laughs> she was just downing me so much. And I'm just sitting there and I'm asking like the other coworker, like, do you feel like this? She's saying nothing. Like, I'm like, see? <laughs> and like I said, I don't have nothing, no beef with none of them. I'm just telling the truth. I'm just telling my side. Like, hey, it is what it is. Like, this is how I felt in the moment. Like, so, yeah. She was sitting there, and I'm like, is this how you feel? Like, do you feel like I'm the worst worker? Do you feel like I'm dull? Like, I'm like, I'm always smiling. Like, when am I ever down? Like, and then, but anyways, I was just like, is this how you feel? She said nothing. Like, she didn't have my back at all. So I was like, see, okay. Okay. So I'm letting her finish talking. She's just telling me, so basically, when I feel like you're up to par, then I'll give you your hours back and I'll give you, you know, more hours and more days or whatever. And I was just like, really crying really not crying really trying not to cry and i, I don't know like, i'm getting i'm like emotional so i'm sensitive so and it makes me sensitive even think about it because like that's that was so wrong Ugh. Mm. i am trying not to cry um but yeah she was just like i'm so sensitive Ugh. She was just like, um, I don't even know why I'm crying, like, <laughs> ugh. Um, but yeah, in the moment, she was just like, um, when I feel like you're up to par, I'm gonna give you your hours back. <clears throat> and I was just like, okay, I took that shit, and I ate it, and I was just like, all right, like, in my head, I'm like, you already feel it how you feel, like, you're gonna keep me in this position. Like, you're telling me that I'm the worst worker. You're telling me that. <sighs> Let me get it together because I wouldn't be crying. Ooh. Like, you're telling me that I'm the worst worker. You're telling me that I don't smell. I'm dull. Knowing damn well your ass see how my vibe is. So that happened and then she gonna walk out like walk out the room right and as she's leaving like i said my back was faced towards the door she gonna walk out the room and bump me with the door hella hard didn't say sorry did but she and, and this time i know she knew she hit me with the door she she gonna look back and say oop <laughs> she gonna look back and say oop like oop and i oop <laughs> she gonna look back and say oop and keep it pushing that shit hurt my feelings so bad like and i was just like damn no respect for my for me at all like so i left i was crying and people see me they was like what's wrong what's wrong i just walked out the back i didn't even go out the front i walked out the back and, and my job to work the next day let me tell you I walked out the back i left i was crying i was like okay and i didn't cause no scene nothing i just left she didn't say sorry about my arm nothing she hit me hard as fuck with that door. Like, <clears throat> so the next day I came in, the first worker there, bitch. This day we had a table, a party of 150, I think, 150. My ass set all those tables up. And then some workers start coming in. But it was just me there, me and her, me and her. And I'm setting these tables up. These people are like, I'm like getting everything situated. Literally like, you know, thinking about all the shit she did yesterday. Like really doing my shit that day. And then I thought about it like, oh, and mind you, I'm doing my shit that day too, right? She's acting as if, she's like, I'm doing my shit, I'm moving fast. I'm, you know, greeting the people, talking to them and stuff. And then she she does something, a gesture, as if I'm not doing my job right. 
And I'm like, this lady don't want to see a good in me. Like, I'm literally working hard, smiling. Like, even though you did that shit to me, I came to work with a smile on my face and shit the next day. Dressed in uniform and shit. Looking nice for work. And then I'm like walking around and then she acting as if like I'm not doing my shit. Mind you, like I said, like I'm a good worker. Like I'm not what she tried to portray me to be. So I'm like, this lady ain't gonna see the good in me. I said, you know what? I said, I prayed to God. I asked her for strength. And I walked over to her. Nobody was there yet at the job. It was packed as fuck still. The party was still coming in. I was just like, I looked at her like, can I talk to you? Still trying to be respectful. The bitch still, ooh, I didn't even call her a bitch. But shit, she was being a bitch in the moment, shit. She was still not being nice, like, at all, like. And then I'm just like, okay, I really need to talk to you, it's urgent. And then she was just like, basically like, and I understand because, I guess I understand somewhat because it was busy, but workers start coming at this point, like, they could have handled that while I talked to you. I said, it, it'd be real quick. Like, we could just step right here and be real quick. Like I said, she was still mean to me. I was like, you know what? I said, I quit. In front of everybody. I didn't give a fuck. I quit in front of the customers coming in. I'm like, okay, if you can't, if you can't do that, if you can't step to the side for me, I'm trying to quit in private. Shit, <laughs> I'm trying to quit over here in a respectful way. But no, you're still being mean. And like I said, she was treating me like I wasn't doing my shit. I'm sitting the tables up, pushing tables together by myself, by myself. Like, and then she's acting as if, like, I don't know, like, I'm supposed to be Superwoman or something. Like, girl, like I said, girl, I was doing my shit. But um, I quit. I was just like, I quit. Like, I said, and then I told her, I'm like, you're never going to see the good in me. I told her that shit. I'm like, you're never going to see the good in me. I can't remember what else I said. I think I told her. I think I told her she hit me with the door. I don't remember. But I was like, you're never going to see good. Oh, one night. I'm just telling you this quick little um, night that happened. It was one night. I had a bad night, right, at work. And I was really like, you know, it was, a, it was, a, it was really busy this night too, right? I, like, I was being treated mean. I was being, I was being treated mean as like, 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 like always. I'm stuttering. <laughs> Like always, and a customer seen me. A customer came up to me and was just like, I see you working hard. And she was like, I'm so proud of you. Ugh, I'm so sensitive. She was just like, I'm so proud of you. And she tipped me, like, or whatever. Like, she tipped me big, too. But, um, she was just like, like, I see, I see you. And that shit, I don't know. It's just some people ain't gonna see the good in you. And some people not gonna like you for nothing. Like, and that's something that I just wanna let people know. Like, it's okay. Like, and if you're working at a job to where you're not comfortable, leave. Because trust me, that's somewhere where you gotta be. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's the one where you gotta be. So you don't wanna be somewhere where you're uncomfortable every day. <clears throat> and someone's making your freaking job worse. I mean, harder than what it is. So yeah, I was just like, I quit. And I walked out of there. I didn't feel no regret at all. And I never looked back. Like, fuck y'all. Not to coworkers, but like, you know what I mean. <laughs> but I was like, fuck that. And that job was fun as fuck, I'm telling y'all. We used to have parties and shit together. We used to have a party bus and travel to the other restaurant and party there, gifts and shit, prizes. That job was fun, like. So, you know, like, but I left, like, bye. Because ain't nobody gonna be treating me like that. Like, fuck that. And I, like, I, like I'm like i gonna tell you guys, if you guys feel like your boss isn't treating you fairly, you talk to them, if they continue to treat you like that, go. Because you don't need to be working somewhere where you're uncomfortable, like I said. So, if you're new to my channel... You can see me on that. I'm a freaking sensitive crybaby. <laughs> but go ahead and hit the like button if you made it this far. Come at the bottom. Let me know you guys. Um, still got a frog in my throat. Let me know if you guys have any similar situations or like a boss that just gives you a hard time for nothing. <clears throat> and yeah. 
come back for more let me try to stop crying <laughs> and yeah hit the subscribe button and hit the bell and thank you it's your girl jasmine with the g the one and only with the bubbly personality <laughs> okay bye y'all <laughs>